What's up everyone? Welcome back. We are in the middle of getting a couple rods rigged up, ready to go fishing here. But uh, this is sort of one of my favorite series to do. And this is a tech series that we talk about how deep crankbaits and baits run, go in depth on, on a lot of tackle. And this bait right here that I'm holding in my hand is the new 13 Fishing Jabberjaw. You've probably seen this bait and what it is, real quick here, it's a square bill that has a metal lip that ultimately hits the head um, of the bait and actually pivots. And it ultimately makes the sound of what a, a vibrating jig does. And that's what's so cool and so unique about it. One of the cooler baits that I have had the, I've had the opportunity to fish over the last handful of years. So I tied this bait on real quick here. And what we do when these, in these videos is we, we test a couple different things and talk about how deep these baits run ultimately. So I wanna know how deep the jabber jar runs one way, but then I also have a really cool deal that we're gonna dive into and talk about why and how you can adjust certain things to make things run a little bit deeper, shallower, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna tell you guys a couple tips on this bait. Uh, let's dive into it right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, so I had a lot of different baits right here to choose from. Um, a lot of cool looking colors. You can see like obviously the Gary Reds and you have your Dale Glocks. The guys there at 13 do a good job of, of naming the colors. <laughs> they have some interesting color names too. Um, good shad colors, some good crawdad patterns. I grabbed the one that was called Fire and Ice. It's pretty cold outside, so I'm thinking that might be a good one to throw. Sound good? Yeah. Okay, so this bait has a pretty wide action. It's pretty wide wobbling, um, but it, it, it seems to work really well in some stained water. Uh, I, I've used this bait several times and, and cranked a lot of shallow water this fall, fished it um, in a lot of different scenarios, but it does have a wider action than traditional square bells. I would not say, I would say it's more of a similarity, uh, it's like similar to like almost like a shallow running wiggle wart. I'm not, maybe not that much, but it's pretty close to it. It really truly is. Um, and, and it has a lot of thump. So that's one thing I like about it. The one thing that you're gonna notice on this bait right here is it has this metal lip, okay? And I just talked about that a little bit. Actually, I frayed my line a little bit right there. But, um, and that little lip hits that bait really well and hits the side of the cheeks, which makes that unique noise. But the cool thing, and one thing I've had some people ask me questions on because they bought these baits and they're like, man, this bait doesn't run as deep as I would like it to. So we're gonna, this one's just out of the package. I haven't done anything to it at all, but you can customize this bait and we're gonna talk about this here in a little bit. But I'm gonna make my first cast with the Lawrence Active Target technology right up here in front and see how deep this bait ultimately runs on a normal cast. One thing about that bait, it definitely wants to, it casts well, like it gets out there a good bit. So that's two feet, that bait's down there to four feet. Okay, so we are on 12, right there at six feet. So five and three quarters on the square bill. I need to make one more throw. It does cast well, it has a lot of weight to it for, it's not a huge bait, but it has a decent amount of weight to it. Let's see here. Trying to find it. There it is. Four feet. Four and a half. I'm gonna say five feet. Let me see here. Might throw them again. Last one. Just give us a couple different viewpoints. So I can see it. There's 70 feet right now. 60 feet now. It's in four foot of water. Touch. I got my rod tip down. It's five, it's probably five feet right there. Long cast, it might touch six. Right there at the bottom, I might be able to hit the bottom at six. So it's this bait right here out of the package runs right at, right at six feet. I'm gonna say five and a half, okay? Now the one thing about this is, because it is a metal lip, it will, if you crank it around the rocks all day long, um, it will bend if you ultimately hit a rock or you slap it on the trolling motor, which I've done several times or throw it up on the bank. I've done that. Yep, I have. Trust me, it happens. Um, and so what happens is the angle of the bill will, will change. So this is where you have to really pay attention to what also makes this bait super cool is the angle of the bill right here now, if I push it up, 
it ultimately has that right angle to really get a little bit more depth. So I could actually even potentially push this up. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna push it up even more. I don't think, you don't wanna push it too far because there's gonna be a point. This is out of the package, it's gonna dive its deepest. But at a point, I wanna see, I'm gonna play with that. Push it up just a tad and see if it'll bite. We're gonna find out. Push it up a little bit. My theory on this is that we're gonna dive a little bit deeper. I'm not quite there. I can't really tell, let me make mother cast. Okay, so it's really four feet, six sets. Let's see if it dies deeper. I can see it, uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, we went past six. Woo! All right, so this is something that I played with a little bit. That's what's so cool about this bait. I could literally adjust the bait, I can adjust the lip to ultimately dive deeper or shallower. Now watch this. If I want this bait to go a little bit shallower, I just pull it downward. So I push it, put a little pressure on it. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to say that's going to probably run four feet. Let's find out. Cast. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what it, we're at. I can see it out there. Four feet. Moved it up. Probably runs right at... That runs five feet right there. I'm gonna say it runs like right there at five feet. Okay, so y'all see it probably ride, probably dove down to about five feet with that. So you can adjust this bill because this is probably a little bit more. So we're gonna adjust him down a little bit more. Steep in the angle, okay? Now, throw it out there, make one more cast. Okay, so now it's running. You can definitely see it's up there and. That wasn't as long a cast, but that's up there in two foot of water. It's barely getting the two. That bait's running two foot deep. Let me throw it one more time. Longer cast, probably 80, it's probably 100 feet right there. 80 feet, 100 feet. I'm gonna go ahead, you can see it runs about two, two and a half, three feet right there. I'm gonna say it's at three feet. Barely see it, sorry, it's two. Doesn't come on, okay. So, this is the thing. That is what is so cool about this bait, and I wanted to see this and show you guys. Ultimately, I can determine what that is, how deep it dives, ultimately, with the active target technology. And the cool thing about this is I could even go shallower, but you're you're really at the, at one point in time it's going to cap off. So it only goes. I would say the shallowest it's going to run is two feet deep. You could go to bigger line and ultimately run it towards like almost like a wake bait. But this bait really has wide wobbling action, um, catches a lot of fish, and it's something that's definitely unique. But I wanted to give you guys one of my biggest tips on how to tweak this bait and ultimately get to run. A little bit shallower, a little bit deeper. Um, it's definitely something you got to pay attention to. So if you're out there on the water and you seem, I mean, you're throwing a jobber jar and you're catching fish, and uh, you just seem like you're not getting as deep, this is why you can tweak this bait. Ultimately, it's ultimately like learning how to tune a crankbait completely differently by moving the lip placement. That's ultimately what it is, and so it allows you to adjust it. So being in or understanding that this will change how deep your bait dies will help you catch more fish. Pay attention to that. Um, but then also it's a pretty cool little lure that you can adjust. Um, and ultimately, whatever situation you're dealing with, shallow water cover, you need to run shallower, you can make it happen. You need to run a little bit deeper, you can do that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We've had a lot of fun talking about one of the new crankbaits out on the market. We have a lot of more videos like this um, on the channel. If you enjoyed this content, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate all the support. We'll see y'all next time.